New at five, the MPD strip search scandal. Could it now cost taxpayers hundreds of thousands of dollars? Five men filed a federal lawsuit against the city of Milwaukee. The Milwaukee Police Department and Chief Ed Flynn today. They claim that officers illegally searched them right in the middle of the street. In fact, two of the victims spoke out for the first time today. Our Todd Hicks joins us live from the federal courthouse. He has the very latest. Todd. Well, Mike and Carol, those men claim that MPD officers conducted illegal body cavity searches, and now they filed a federal lawsuit against the city and the officers who they claim let it go on. Every time they see me, pull me over, pull my pants down. Anthony Pettis claims it happened to him dozens of times. MPD officers from District 5 performed illegal strip searches while they looked for drugs. I just wanted to end. You're saying right. Pettis is one of five men who have filed suits against the city, the police chief and the officers. He claims the officers didn't follow policy and searched their private parts often in the middle of the street. Officer Michael Vagnini pleaded no contest in connection with the searches. He was sentenced to 26 months in prison. The cases against three other officers are still pending. Pettis's attorney claims MPD knew about the strip searches and didn't stop them. It tolerated this pattern in practice. It turned a blind eye and people in a position of power who could have stopped it instead encouraged it. Pettis believes there are other victims and is asking them to come forward. I know there's a lot of other people out there who need help, who's seeking help. It's time to come up. And Mike and Carol, I reached out to the city attorney for a comment on reaction to this lawsuit today. He did not return my call. We're live in downtown Milwaukee tonight. Todd Hicks, today's TMJ4. Okay, Todd, thank you very much.